Hello my crafty friends. This is Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa and I am here on the Not Too Shabby Shop with uh, Not Too Shabby Channel with another um, slim with another mermaid card um, and I would suggest if you were on the fence about getting this kit that you go ahead and do it because the, the kits are slim slim um, uh, I'm not sure there are too many left. So anyhow, I am going to, in my last video that was just on my channel, um, I made, um, several cards, um, that were A2 size cards. And I said I would come back and make some slimline cards. Well, I'm gonna, I wanted to finish up using my ephemera and I still didn't, <laughs> still didn't use them up. But um, I am going to make two very quick slimline cards. So the the products I'm, that I'm using is I am using this Whimsy Stamp Slimline Card Builder. It has this long kind of kind of almost wavy stitched line. Then it has a circle, an oval, and a square. And I use the circle. I am going to, I used my, I'm gonna use my ephemera. I used my slimline pad and I only used this one piece of paper for my for my card because this piece of paper is gonna do, do double duty and do for both cards. I am going to use the My Favorite Things stencil called Wavy Lines. All of these products are listed in the description box down below. They are affiliate links. I also have, Jamie didn't have this in her shop, but I also am using the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Station. That link is also down below. And I'm gonna use some Distress Oxides. So if you don't have Distress Oxides, there are some links down below for those as well. So I'm gonna use Tumbled Glass, Salty Ocean, and Mermaid Lagoon. So those are the three that I am going to use. So this is going to be fast and quick. I will probably speed this part up a little bit. And, and, then, and go to a voiceover so that, um, you know, my voice doesn't sound crazy sped up but I am going to put my magnets down I haven't been using this very often and I find that those magnets are kind of in an in an odd place when you're trying to to use them okay so I am going to play some music while I do my ink blending. I'm going to ink blend all over this panel and then I'm gonna ink blend in some spots on this, um, on my other card and ink blend in just some spots because you'll see, you'll see why in a few minutes. But, so um, enjoy the music and I'll catch you back in a minute.
my um, ink blending, I put some um, tumbled glass on the first one over everything. And then on this one, I put Salty Ocean over this. And no, I, I still put tumbled glass over it. I didn't, didn't do an ombre with this one. I just did Salty Ocean. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble our cards. Um, and I'm crooked. All right, let's just worry about getting it straight. Not worry about the pencil lines, and then I will erase them and hope the ink won't smudge. Okay, I still think I got it a little crooked. Okay. So, um, making sure that my pencil lines are gone. You can still see that one a little bit, but it's okay. It's a handmade card. There are going to be mistakes. Okay, so for this card, she is swimming with her friends. You know me, I like, to, I like for my mermaids to swim with their friends. So I am going to pop up these little um, characters. So she's swimming with her friends and some nice blue waters and they are going to have a magical day because I have one little stamp that I pulled out from the Be Mermazing stamp set and I am going to stamp that in black ink on the card so you'll be able to see it. I think I'll put it up there at the top and I'm gonna stamp Be Magical. I just pulled out a sentiment to go with both cards and that's what we're gonna use. So I hope that you are having an awesome summer. If you have not seen um, Jamie's cards that she made for the Mermaid Hop that I hosted this past weekend, they are here on the channel. So make sure you watch those for some more inspiration with the box. On my first day of the hop, I used um, the kit. I used other mermaid stuff the other day, so I will leave my channel linked below as well. And hope you can stop over there and maybe you'll find something you like over there. I think that a mermaid, my, my thought here is that a mermaid always has to have some friends to swim along with. She doesn't like swimming by herself. So, she's going to swim with the crab or the lobster. I don't even know what he is. She is. I think it's a she. All right, we'll come back and do some, some dressing up on that in just a minute. So... On this one, right in the middle here, and I am going to 
use some liquid glue for my little circles. Please forgive it. I have a metal roof and it just started pouring down rain. So please forgive that. Okay, so my circle is going to go right down the middle. And then that will be a place for my um, creatures, my sea life to be anchored on. Oops, let's make our waves go this way. All right. And last circle, and then we're going to put our mermaid in the middle because she's the queen. She needs to take front and center, queen mermaid. I don't know if you know this or not, I've said it before, that m my um, craft room is decorated in a mermaid theme. I'm hoping to do a craft room tour sometime this summer. I gotta get it cleaned up enough to do that though. Um, we're gonna put that right in the center. And and the last one, and we'll put it up here, and and then I am going to pull my other card back in. So there are my two finished cards, except for my sentiments. Okay, so on this one, I am going to stamp it right here by the mermaid. And I am off camera. I'm so sorry. <laughs> See, I struggle with that so bad. All right, and then one more stamp here. And I think I'll put this up there by the mermaid. And she, this one will go right up here. And it's a very subtle sentiment. Okay, and then I am going to, sorry for my reach in front of you, pull out some sequins. And, oh, I shouldn't have put my glue away. And add some sparkle here with some sequins. And I have a sequin picker. I'm pretty sure there are some in the store. I will link down below to, I don't know that it's this brand, but um, if you need a sequin pick, jewel picker, sequin picker. All right. So we're almost finished here. I hope you have enjoyed the, all of the design team um, product projects with the mermaid kit. Um, we are gearing up for our next kit, and you, I, I'm sure you are not going to want to miss it. You need to make sure that you are subscribed. So you don't miss out on getting a box because some of these boxes sell out very fast, of course. Some of them don't, but you want to make sure that you don't miss out. Okay, so there is our sequence, and I put one little shell right there by the mermaid. And then we will add some over here. And...
Oops, got a little tiny sequin right there that's trying to escape. I put that one down there at the bottom. It doesn't want to stay at all. Well, maybe it needs a little bit more dab of glue for it to stay down there. Sequins and I have a love-hate relationship. I have a hard time getting them to stick. So we're going to place two more sequins. I love how Jamie puts these kits together. She is doing such an awesome job with the not too shabby shop and just has the best customer service. So if you've never bought anything from her, I think you probably should check her out. Oh, see? Okay. All right, so here are my two cards. I'll give you a look at them. Close up look. And my other card. Two very similar looking cards, but, but yet kind of different, so. I thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.